So we had the final uh, school district bridge competition with Pop School Sticks, and we had anyone from elementary all the way to high school, and we just tested them and broke them all with these breakers. I mean, this gets them thinking at an early age how to be efficient with designs and also how to think outside the box to come up with something that maybe no one else would have thought of before. Okay, so uh, we saw one requirement online that said it has to be, um, the width has to be equal to or less than five inches wide. What we didn't happen to see was that it has to at least be three inches wide, so we made it too narrow to try to make it more supported, but then it, the plate won't fit, so we're quickly reworking it. You're right. You should have a couple down here glued, a couple down there glued. Yeah. But then it, everything else is just holding those two together. This is your strength. And we need to have all the weight go into this string, what which if, is right here. What if you what if you put like some glue right there? Sweet. I love okay. nobody's stressing your problem solving. This is life, gentlemen. Yeah. This is life. It's a lot better than it was five minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, definitely. We're getting close. We're 16. Now, there's going to be a teacher and an engineer at each one of the breakers, and they'll actually help assist you. The only thing they will not do is they will not load the weights onto your bridge. Okay, then we're going to start making obstacle stick bridges into little pieces. Problem solving is the thing you need to know for engineering. That's the basis of every project that we work on, is how to be as efficient, how to use the best materials, and how to make sure that you design as well as you can. One, two, three. There are some kids that have a lot of potential to go really far if they want to be an engineer. One, two, three. Oh! Yeah. Well, and look at your floor. Yeah, we, we broke it. Mr. Edmondson. Good luck. Okay, can you grab the paper? Probably he's trying to get it. Alright, let's go. Awesome. I can't sit like that. It has to sit flush. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Take her off. You know what? This is what you guys, good problem solving, you tried. Can you, a learning can you process. Some of the, they won't let us go over. Apparently our measurements were still off, so once that got set up and glued, it still didn't fit. So thankfully the engineers were kind enough to let us put the plate on sideways, and it didn't qualify for the event itself, but we still got to test it. And so in the end it held 133 pounds, which was totally awesome. The takeaway was number one, always read the fine print and scroll down even if you think that you've seen one thing that says this, make sure that you've, you're completely familiar with all of the rules and regulations. And then number two, just have a good attitude and you know, go with the flow and whatever happens, happens. It's all awesome. It's a great learning experience. <laughs> it's gonna maybe get yeah. good if it's so light. Yeah. yeah. Do it. There are definitely some takeaways, some bridge designs that utilize concepts that we use in our industry every day. And to see them using it at such a young age is really impressive.
first place, Alicia Trubesky. Yeah, I know, she's lifting them just fine. If you want it. Good job. Another dollar prize for efficiency is 1,368.68.